Thanks, John. The man who attacked the Cibola High Schooler, Brittany Marcel, in her home with a shovel almost a decade ago is about to learn his sentence. Justin Hansen faces up to 18 years in prison. News 13's Rebecca Atkins is live downtown at District Court. Rebecca. Well, Kim, in just about an hour and a half, Brittany Marcel and Justin Hansen, along with their families, will be inside a courtroom. They will soon hear the sentence Judge Cindy Laos will hand down to the young man who thought he got away with a crime. Now, the attack happened back on September 11, 2008, when Brittany, a Cibola High School senior, went home to meet her mother for lunch. When she got there, she was beaten with this shovel. The attacker took off when Brittany's mother came home, but he left behind blood when he broke a window to make his escape. That DNA did Hansen in years later when Marcel remembered his name after undergoing hypnosis. Investigators followed him to a McDonald's and collected his soda cup from the garbage to get a DNA match to blood at the crime scene. But although Hansen was finally caught, Brittany's life has been changed forever. You, know, you forgive and you move on is what it is. As long as he's caught and he's served for the time for whatever he did, I'm okay with that. Hansen has never admitted to beating Brittany, but in April he pled no contest to that crime. It's been almost three months since he took that plea. We're expecting Marcel and her family to speak before the sentencing, asking for that 18-year max sentence. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Rebecca. Now, we've never heard a motive for the attack. Marcel, who was 17 at the time, and Hansen, who was 24, did know each other, though, from their jobs at the Cottonwood Mall.